Om Shanti. This is the Sakar Merli of the 18th of April 2024. Essence. Sweet children, the Father is the bestower. You children have no need to ask for anything from the Father. It is said, it is better to die than to ask for anything. Question. Which awareness should you constantly have so that you don't have any worries or thoughts about anything? Answer. Whatever has passed, good or bad, it was fixed in the drama. The whole cycle will end and then repeat. Whatever efforts each one of you make, you claim a status accordingly. If you have this in your awareness, you will not have any worries or thoughts about anything. The Father's direction is, children, do not remember the past. Do not listen to or speak of wrong things. Whatever has passed, do not think about it or repeat it. Om Shanti The spiritual father sits here and explains to you spiritual children. The spiritual father is called the bestower. He gives everything to you children by himself. He comes to make you into the masters of the world. He explains everything to you children about how you have to become these. He continues to give you directions. He is the bestower. He continues to give everything by himself. It is better to die than to ask for anything. You don't have to ask for anything. Some children continue to ask for power, Blessings, mercy. On the path of devotion you wore out your foreheads by constantly asking and you continued to come down the ladder. Now there is no need to ask for anything. The father says, follow my directions. Firstly, he says, do not remember the past. Whatever has happened in the drama is the past. Do not think about that. Do not repeat it. The father simply tells you a few words. Constantly remember me alone. The father gives you directions or shrimat. It is the duty of you children to follow these. They are the most elevated directions of all. No matter how many questions and answers someone has, Baba would only explain in a few words. I am the purifier. Continue to remember me and your sins will be burnt away. That is all. Would one need to be given directions to remember anyone? You have to remember your father, not shout or cry out. You simply have to remember the unlimited father internally. What other direction does he give? Remember the cycle of 84 births because you have to become deities. You have been listening to the praise of deities for half a cycle. There was the sound of a child crying. Now, directions are given to all centres that no one should bring little children here. Some arrangements should be made for them. Those who want to claim their inheritance from the father would make these arrangements. This is the university of the spiritual father and there is no need for little children here. 
It is a teacher's duty to bring children here to refresh them when they are serviceable and worthy. Whether someone is an eminent person or an ordinary person, this is a university. Those who bring little children here do not think that this is a university. The main thing is that this is a university and those who study here have to be very good and sensible. Weak ones would cause a disturbance because they would not be in remembrance of the Father and so their intellects would wander here and there. They would cause a loss. They would not be able to stay in remembrance. If you bring little children here, it is a loss for the children. Some don't know that this is a Godfatherly university and that you change here from human beings into deities. The father says, you may live at home with your families and children. Not just one week, even three or four days are enough. This knowledge is very easy. You have to recognize the Father. By recognizing the unlimited Father, you will receive the unlimited inheritance. Which inheritance? The unlimited sovereignty. Do not think that service doesn't take place at the museums or exhibitions. Countless subjects are created. The Brahmin clan, the sun and moon dynasties are established here. So this is a very big university. The unlimited father is teaching you. Your head should become completely full. However, the father is in an ordinary body. He also teaches you in an ordinary way and this is why people don't like it. A godfatherly university and it would be like this. The father says, I am the lord of the poor. I only teach the poor. Wealthy ones don't have the strength to study. They simply have palaces in their intellects. Wealthy ones become poor and poor ones become wealthy. This is a law. Would you donate to a wealthy person? This is the donation of the imperishable jewels of knowledge. Wealthy ones cannot accept donations. This would not sit in their intellects. They simply remain trapped in their own limited creation, wealth and prosperity. It is as though this is heaven for them. They say, we don't need another heaven. When an important person dies, they say, he has gone to heaven. They themselves say that he has gone to heaven and so that must mean that they are in hell. However, they have such stone intellects that they don't understand what hell is. This is such a big university of yours. The father says, I come and teach those whose intellects are locked. Only when the Father comes can he open the locks. The Father himself gives directions for how the locks on your intellects can open. You do not need to ask the Father for anything. You need to have faith in this. He is such a most beloved Baba whom you used to remember on the path of devotion. Whomever you remember, he or she would definitely come to you at some point. You remember him so that this can repeat again. 
The father comes and explains to only you children. You children then have to explain to those who are outside how Baba has come. What does he say? Children, all of you are impure. I alone come and purify you. You souls have become impure. So now remember me, the purifier father. Remember me, the supreme soul. There is no need to ask for anything here. For half a cycle on the path of devotion, you have been asking and receiving nothing. Now stop asking and I will continue to give you everything myself. You receive the inheritance by belonging to the Father. Those who are mature children instantly understand the Father. The inheritance from the Father is the sovereignty of heaven for 21 generations. You know that when you are residents of hell, you receive temporary happiness by donating and performing charity. People put aside something for charity. Generally, businessmen also do that. So the businessmen would say that they have come to do business with the father. Children do business with their father. They take their father's property and then feed departed spirits, donate and perform charity from that. If they build dharamshalas, rest houses, temples, etc., they would name them after their father because they should definitely do something for the person from whom they received that property. That is also a deal. All of those matters are physical. The father now says, Do not remember the past. Do not listen to wrong things. If anyone asks all sorts of questions, then say, There is no need to go into those things. First of all, remember the father. Ancient Raja Yoga of Bharat is very well known. The more remembrance you have and the more divine virtues you imbibe, the higher the status you will claim. This is a university. The aim and objective is clear. You have to make effort and become like them. You also have to imbibe divine virtues. You mustn't cause anyone sorrow of any type. You are the children of the Father who is the remover of sorrow and the bestower of happiness. That will be known from your service. Many new ones come. Those who have been here for only 10 or 12 days will go ahead faster than those who have been here 25 or 30 years. You children also have to make others the same as the father. Unless you become Brahmins, how would you become deities? Brahma is the great-great-grandfather. People remember those who have been here and gone, and so they will definitely come back here again. All the festivals that are remembered have all been and gone, and they will happen again. At this time, all the festivals, such as Rakshabandhan, etc., take place. The father continues to explain the significance of all of them. You are the children of the father, and so you definitely have to become pure. People call out to the purifier father, and so he shows the path. Whoever have claimed the inheritance every cycle are the ones who continue here accurately. 
you continue to see this as detached observers. As the detached observer, Bapdada also sees to what extent you will be able to claim a high status and what your characters are like. The teacher knows everything about how many you make similar to yourselves and for how long you stay in remembrance. First of all, you have to keep it in your intellects that this is a godfatherly university. A university is for knowledge. Those are limited universities, whereas this is unlimited. It is only the one father who brings about salvation from degradation and who changes hell into heaven. The father's vision goes to all souls. Everyone has to be benefited. They have to be taken back home. Not just you. He would be remembering souls of the whole world but he teaches his children. You also understand that just as people came number-wise, they will return in the same way. All souls come down number-wise. It is explained to you how you will go to the new world. Whatever happened a cycle ago will happen again. How you will go to the new world again is also explained to you. It is only explained to those who go to the new world number-wise. By knowing the Father, you children know your religion and about the whole tree of all the other religions. There is no need to ask for anything here, not even blessings. Some write, Baba, what can I do? Have mercy. The Father will not do anything. The Father has come to show you the path. It is in my part in the drama to purify everyone. I play my part in the way that I play it every cycle. Whatever happened in the past, good or bad, It was fixed in the drama. You mustn't have any waste thoughts about anything. We continue to move forward. This is an unlimited drama. The whole cycle will finish and then repeat. Whatever efforts each one makes, so he claims a status. There is no need to ask for anything. You asked for plenty of wealth on the path of devotion. You have used up all that wealth. All of this is predestined in the drama. Those people simply continue to explain to you. By your performing devotion and studying the scriptures for half of this cycle, You incurred so many expenses. There is now no need for you to spend anything. The father is the bestower. He doesn't need anything. He has come to give to you. Do not think that you have given to Shiv Baba. You receive a lot from Shiv Baba. You have come here to receive. Students go to their teacher to receive something. You have only gone into loss from your physical fathers, teachers and gurus. You children now have to follow Srimat because only then can you claim a high status. Shiv Baba is double Shri. You become single Shri. It is said... Shri Lakshmi and Shri Narayan Shri Lakshmi and Shri Narayan are two separate beings. Vishnu is said to be Shri Shri because he is joint. Nevertheless, 
Who makes both of them like that? Only the one who is Shri Shri. No one else is Shri Shri. Nowadays people name themselves Shri Lakshmi Narayan, Shri Sita Rama. So you children have to imbibe all of this and remain happy. Nowadays spiritual conferences also continue to take place. However, they don't understand the meaning of spiritual. No one except the one can give this spiritual knowledge. The father is the father of all spirits. He is said to be spiritual. They say that philosophy is spirituality. You understand that this is a jungle where they continue to cause one another sorrow. You know that the supreme non-violent religion of the deities has been remembered. There is no violence there. To get angry is also violence. Call it semi-violence or call it something else. Here you have to become completely non-violent. Nothing bad should happen through your thoughts, words or actions. When someone works as a policeman etc. He has to do everything tactfully. As much as possible do everything with love. The father has his own experiences. He does everything with love. Great tact is needed for this. You have to explain to someone with great love how there is one hundredfold punishment for one. To the sweetest beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bap Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence Vedana 1. We are the children of the father, the remover of sorrow and the bestower of happiness. Therefore do not cause anyone sorrow. Keep your aim and objective in front of you and imbibe divine virtues. Do the service of making others the same as yourself. 2. While knowing every part of the drama, do not think about anything of the past. Pay attention that you do not do anything bad through your thoughts, words or actions. Become doubly non-violent. Blessing. May you make the one father your companion and stay in his company and thereby become a completely pure soul. A completely pure soul is one who has imbibed the purity of Brahmachari in his thoughts and his dreams and who also follows the teachings of Father Brahma at every step. Purity means to make the Father your constant companion and to stay in the Father's company. The company of the gathering and the code of conduct of the family's love is a different matter. It is only because of the Father that you have the company of the love of the gathering. If it weren't for the father, where would the family come from? The father is the seed and so you must never forget the seed. Slogan Do not become those who are impressed by someone but become those who make an impression on others with this knowledge. Om Shanti